Good day, man, here again. I got some real talk for you. I got a scripture for you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, sufficient to the days the evil thereof. A lot of us are worrying about the future, our jobs, our kids, our family, what's going to happen to us, where we're going to go in life. We're worrying, we're scared, we're up at night in bed wondering what's going to happen with our future. We're worried about what we eat or drink. It says in Matthew 6, not to worry about what you should eat or drink or about tomorrow. But we're all worried about that. Why do we do that? You know why? Because we lack trust in God. We have to trust in God. The Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. He, we still know He's God. He will have, He has in control of your future. He's in control of everything. The Bible says He goes before us. He makes a crooked way straight. He makes a way in the wilderness. He also says He goes before us. And He says that um, He's the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus says, I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first and last. If you're worried about your future, don't worry. Jesus is already there. He's got it prepared for you. He's got it planned out. Nothing's going to harm you when you have God in your life. A lot of us live in the past also. I've lived in the past and the future. I haven't got anywhere. God wants us to live in the present. Enjoy the present now. Enjoy Him now. Enjoy your relationships with your friends, family, loved ones, your kids, whoever. Enjoy Jesus now and your family and friends, loved ones. Enjoy life now. Live for the now, not for the future, not for the past. Live right now. Live every second, every breath, every heartbeat. One step at a time, one single second, nanosecond at a time. Just live. Live for Jesus. I love you so much. I want you to know you don't have to worry about your future and you don't have to worry about your past because Jesus is in control and he's in charge and he's got everything planned and figured out for you and it's all going to work out for him, for your glory or for his glory. I mean, I'm sorry. The Bible says that um, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. If you love God and call to according to his purpose, everything's going to work out. Things may not go our way. Sometimes life's hard. It's a struggle. Trials and tribulations, yes, temptations, all kinds of stuff. But the Christian life is the best life. If you have Jesus in your heart, Lord and Savior, repent of your sins and let him in your heart, Lord and Savior. And believe he died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead three days later. You'll go to heaven. You'll have the best life. It's going to be hard sometimes. But the Bible says it's hard for the sinner. It's hard for the wicked. There's tribulation so much. It's not easy being a Christian. It's not easy being a sinner. But it's better to be a Christian. It's the best life. Live in the now and the future. I mean, not in the future, but live in the now and the present. Go on in Jesus, one step at a time, one foot forward, none taken back to the past, none going too far to the future, one step with God. I love you, Jesus, too, and God bless.